Hey everybody, it's Elle back for another bump date! Ah! So today I am nine weeks and one and a half days pregnant, something like that, because it's the evening. Um, but anyways, I'm going to tell you guys all about week eight. Okay guys, so this is my eight week bump date. I'm gonna update you guys on everything that happened on week eight. Now I may have to interrupt my video because I have dinner in the oven and I feel like the timer is gonna go off any second. So I may have to run and take dinner out of the oven and then come back and then finish this up with you guys. But anyways, uh, so the biggest thing that happened in week eight is I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I was having some like pulling pains really low. That's definitely happened more this week than in the other weeks. The other phenomenon that I would like to call it as such is I heard someone make this statement um, like earlier, like maybe two weeks ago, and I thought it was absolutely hilarious. And so I have adopted that saying as well. And the best way I can describe this sensation I've been having is like literally sometimes it feels like I have a headache in my crotch. <laughs> there is no other better way to describe it than like this feeling of like pulling and stretching down there. It literally feels like I feel like I can feel my uterus like growing and taking up more space in my body. And so I just thought that was an absolutely hilarious way of putting it. Definitely the hormones are kicking. I think my sex drive is finally coming back up to normal, which is awesome. Um, so that's been a good time. So other than that, the biggest symptom I've been having this week is heartburn. Oh my goodness gracious, people. So I feel so lucky because I haven't had basically any nausea, any vomiting, none of that this whole pregnancy. And I feel incredibly blessed because of that. But the one big thing I have been dealing with is heartburn. Now I never really had heartburn before in my life, or at least not like this. Like every once in a while, maybe I'd have a little bit here and there. Um, during IVF, I had a little bit of heartburn here and there, but oh my effing gosh, guys, it is so bad. Um, but I looked up some like common triggers of heartburn and it's so me, like pizza was the worst trigger of heartburn ever. And you're pretty limited about what you can use during pregnancy, obviously. Um, one of my, uh, my good sister-in-law recommended Maalox, but I looked at the ingredients and it said natural flavoring. And I have so many food allergies that I was really hesitant to try it because I couldn't tell what that flavoring was. Um, I really should eventually make a video about my food allergies, but anyways, they're complicated. So I bought it and I just haven't used it at all. Uh, Tums have been my best friend. Although what I find hilarious is on a list of like trigger foods that are pretty common for people, peppermint is on there. Like peppermint apparently can also trigger heartburn and my Tums are peppermint flavored. And I was like, seriously? <laughs> Seriously, I just think that that's so funny to me. I'm like, why would you make a heartburn remedy that can cause heartburn? That's the dinner timer. I will be right back. Anyhow, like I was saying, uh, I think it's hilarious that Tums have peppermint in them. And honestly, it's kind of gotten to the point where I feel like I'm using Tums so much that the smell and the taste of peppermint Tums just kind of make me gag. And I've gotten to the point where I can't really like chew it and swallow it. I kind of have to just like bite it into a couple times and then swallow it really quickly with a bunch of water because I just, ugh. I, I mean, I like, it's weird, I like kind of chalky sensations, like I really enjoy Smarties, like the candy. So you'd think that Tums wouldn't bother me because it's kind of a similar consistency, but it just got to the point where I use them so much that it's like, ugh, this just does not settle. The other thing that's really, really been helping me has been using baking soda. So if my heartburn is really, really bad, um, this is a remedy from my husband because he has terrible heartburn and has for years and this is what he uses. So he made me this concoction a couple times and it's nasty, but it does work. Uh, you put about a teaspoon of baking soda into a cup of water and just drink that, literally a cup, like eight ounces of water and drink that. And I will warn you, it tastes like pool or seawater or something. It's just really salty tasting because baking soda is like a salty thing. I don't know, it's based in sodium or something. I don't know, but it tastes nasty, but it really works. It works better than Tums for me. 
but in combination with the two of them, it works pretty well. So the biggest trigger for me has been pizza, and I looked it up, and that's because black pepper, garlic, and tomatoes are all high on the trigger list for heartburn. So one of my favorite foods I am no longer eating right now. I'll have it occasionally. I've noticed my heartburn is a lot worse if I have food that's a trigger food and then lay down, which seems obvious. But I mean, so to the point where if I have pizza relatively early in the day for me, then it doesn't really trigger as bad heartburn as if I have it later on before I'm like, for like dinner, before I'm going to bed. Um, that's been huge. So I just have to like, I had to figure out, I have to tweak things. And it's just tough because I have so many food allergies and tomatoes are not one of my allergies. And a lot of my allergies, believe it or not, are to various fruits and vegetables. I know people, I know it sounds bizarro. I'll make a video about it, I promise eventually. <laughs> Let me know if you guys wanna hear all about my food allergies. I will make a video about it. But anyways, so a lot of my allergies, um, cause it's a severe pollen allergy actually, and it's in our family, it does, yeah. And it's like full blown anaphylaxis. But anyways, I'll make a separate video about that if you guys wanna hear all about the why that is. Uh, tomatoes are on a safe list for me, and there are other things on the safe list like broccoli, but I don't know if I told you in another one, another video, another bump date. Like I've been trying to eat broccoli and it just, Oh, it's just so bitter to me and I just it tastes way grosser than it did pre-pregnancy and I just cannot stomach it even the smell I just can't handle the smell of broccoli so that's been a no-no for me and it stinks because tomatoes are on a safe list and I really love grape or cherry tomatoes those are like one of my favorite little snacks and they're such a healthy snack to have and oh my goodness guys so I as part of my routine like I was at the grocery store and I bought myself some grape tomatoes and I haven't had them in a while like maybe in a month or so so before this heartburn really ramped up and so I bought those for myself and I brought them to work and I was like wait aren't tomatoes on our trigger list and then I'm like well maybe if I have them early in the night um like hours before I go to bed it won't bother me so I ate about 10 grape tomatoes and oh my gosh guys even just sitting up the heartburn was so bad it actually almost made me throw up just because the acid was so bad and it burned horribly and like I haven't had nausea or vomiting really this pregnancy and I'm like this might be the thing that does it is this horrible heartburn so I immediately um, I had brought baking soda with me to work so I made myself a little baking soda concoction and ate two tums and just kind of breathed through it and put on like something distracting to watch for a minute and I just like got through it and it was awful though and I'm like I'm returning these tomatoes I can't eat them and my husband was cracking up he's like isn't that on the list and I'm like yes but I just wanted to eat something healthy duh <laughs> silly me so anyways um so I thought that was funny so tomatoes are officially on my trigger list I'm not eating tomatoes anymore I just cannot do it guys it just sucks um I think the other things on there are like coffee which actually hasn't really been giving me much heartburn but that's because I have so little like I don't get like an extra large coffee at Dunkin Donuts and chug it like I usually have a little bit like my husband will have a coffee and I'll take a couple sips or I'll make myself a little like half calf or you know something like that so I don't think that's been a trigger because I don't have it a lot um the other thing is like garlic and black pepper I think I have also noticed those can definitely trigger heartburn so I've kind of been avoiding those if I can um, but that's been the biggest thing this week has definitely been the heartburn <laughs> so that's been awful um, but now that I'm kind of figuring out what to do and how to handle it that's been a little bit better um, also the progesterone I'm on for um, from IVF you know I'm actually almost done with it I officially stop it at 10 weeks so I only have one week left of taking this but it has been wreaking havoc I actually was not having any issues from the progesterone before and now like my GI system is definitely slow slowed down so I've been trying to find natural or natural ish ways of fixing it so I bought myself some like fiber one bread and I've been eating a ton of that um, you know like the fiber capsules you can buy um, things like that because I earlier in this process during IVF this is totally a TMI story but earlier in IVF I was starting to have issues from the progesterone in the beginning 
and uh, eventually my body just figured it out and I was fine but and it has been for weeks until now but so earlier in IVF and I tried a like gen it says gentle like laxative and it's safe during pregnancy and I tried that and it gave me like the worst stomach cramps and it was just awful and like made everything way looser than it needed to be and it was just a terrible experience and I'm like all right not doing that anymore let's try some more holistic way, you know, drinking way more water than usual, even though I'm a big water drinker, like drinking way more water than usual and all that kind of stuff. So that's been another issue this week that I am working through. Let's see what else did I have to tell you guys. Um, oh, so the bump, I actually think the bump has kind of, ooh, I think the bump has actually kind of gone down in size a little bit, but that makes sense. I think the baby's placenta is finally taking over. Um, I heard that your ovaries like kind of stay swollen for a while after IVF because they produce the hormones that the baby needs to survive. And so in producing all those, it's kind of swollen up. But eventually the baby's placenta takes over and then your ovaries kind of shrink back down. And I know my ovaries have shrunk into the point where I can exercise again Woot woot. Um, so I officially got permission to exercise and rock climb again, which is super fun. Um, but anyways, so they've definitely shrunk back down and I think the placenta is starting to take over, which is awesome. And I think the bump has kind of shrunk a little bit, but I don't think it'll be shrunk for long. <laughs> so um, it's still not shrunk to the point where I can put on like normal pants, like normal jeans and stuff like that. Like I need either the belly band or something like that. I do have my first pair of maternity jeans. I don't know if I mentioned that in a previous video. I finally caved and bought one pair. And they're so comfortable. <laughs> so, uh, but it's still pretty mild here. So I'm not super worried about that. Wearing a lot of scrubs that are kind of looser fitting. Although I did have a hilarious incident. Um, is that even though the bump has kind of gone down, um, my chest has definitely swollen up quite a bit, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I did get my first ever stretch mark, which was like right underneath my chest, and I was like, oh no, my first stretch mark, and my husband was like, no, it's okay, like, I don't even care, like, that's so, so such a societal thing to care about, that kind of stuff, and it's not that bad, it was just like, oh my gosh, my first stretch mark, and I'm using like bio oil and everything, and I'm like, no. Um, but yeah, chest is definitely swollen up a lot, and it was hilarious. I tried to put on a scrub top that fit me before, and it literally got stuck on my chest, and I had to have my husband help me pull it off of my body. It was really hilarious. Like, not that my belly is that big, but my chest has gotten that big, so I thought that was really hilarious. Um, so that's what's been going on this week, guys. I will show you my belly real quick. I am in a tank top, so I'm probably going to go run and throw on my scrub top just so I'm a little more decent, and I'll show you guys the bump. Okay, guys, I'm in my scrub top, and I will show you my belly. So this is my belly from the front. There's really not much going on here, I don't think. The belly is definitely, I think, lost some of its plumpness, but that's all right. So that's the bump right now. That is my, I am nine weeks and 1.5 days. And so that's that, and then from the front, Alright guys, the other thing I wanted to mention really quickly is as you can see my hair is a little bit less shiny. I think the shininess I was dealing with, uh, with or like the over shininess, the oil production issues I was having before, I think part of it had to do with being pregnant and the other part had to do with I'd switched to an all natural shampoo and it just wasn't doing the job as I needed it to. So I switched back to a more conventional shampoo and I think that it's been working a little bit better for me. My hair is definitely a little bit less oily which is good. And and, but I am definitely having some redness and some bumps and stuff like that and I'm getting like red kind of like bumps up here too which isn't very which isn't very nice but that's kind of what I have been dealing with this week and other than that how are you guys doing let me know in the comments below and that's it for now guys and if you like subscribe bye